Avoid lawyerisms. Lawyerisms are words and phrases used by lawyers, but seldom used by anyone else. Unfortunately, lawyerisms give the appearance of precision, but they are rarely precise. Some of these legal terms are still in use may have been appropriate in the past, but they are often merely anachronistic today. To understand what is problematic about lawyerisms, we must first distinguish them from their legitimate cousins, terms of art. Terms of art are useful legal words that, over time, have come to refer to recognizable legal concepts. They may be Latin terms, recipes locator, for example, or they may be ordinary English words with a specialized meaning proximate cause, negligence, and foreseeability are just a few. Although there is no consensus among legal writing commentators about exactly which words are terms of art, they all agree that these technical terms have no exact synonyms and that they operate as a kind of shorthand among lawyers. That means, of course, that you may on occasion find yourself using many words to explain these terms of art to non-lawyers. In fact, that's a test of a term of art. Terms of art are useful simply because they provide a short way to refer to a long concept. Could you imagine yourself using many words to explain the legal concept behind a foresaid? Let this query guide you in choosing the right word or term. Does the word or term express precisely the meaning you want? And have you chosen the most economical language possible? It's no accident that a foresaid is the archetypal example of a lawyerism. At first glance, it may seem that a foresaid is a word indicating precision, as in the aforesaid witness. If there is only one witness mentioned in the document, however, the word aforesaid is certainly superfluous. But what if there are many witnesses mentioned? Then, witness Smith, or the witness for the defendant, will certainly be more precise and save the reader the trouble of rereading the document to locate the aforesaid.